Okay, welcome to the first module in the series where we're talking about systems thinking. This is the first section where we're just laying the, the foundations for the principles that will follow and we'll give you an overview to uh, systems thinking, systems and complexity, uh, just to frame things. So the first uh, card here is on systems thinking. Uh, just to say a few words about what that is. It's a very broad um, area. It's a paradigm. It's a way of looking at the world that's characterized as being uh, holistic and interpreting the world in terms of uh, relationships and interdependencies uh, through which parts um, are integrated into whole systems. So holistic thinking seeks to understand phenomena as intimately interconnected, interrelated, uh, and only comprehensible uh, with reference to the overall system they form part of, or the broader context. Um, so it's always kind of reasoning upwards. Um, a synthetic mode of reasoning looks at what emerges when we put things together. It has uh, a number of different uh, dimensions to it. This, this way of looking at the world um, can be thought of as uh, non-linear. It's about looking at the, the feedback dynamics, the interdependencies between the parts, the relationships between the parts. It's a dynamic way of looking at the world, um, asking how uh, change emerges out of those uh, nonlinear dynamics in the system. But ultimately, it's about um, trying to take a, a broader view of the world, a broader view of a system, um, so as to understand uh, it not by breaking it down, not by analyzing the parts, uh, but understanding how those parts are interrelated into uh, a broader system and interdependent in performing some function within that. So this is the graphic uh, that helps to illustrate that. Um, it's uh, uh, showing the two uh, modes of reasoning, analytical thinking on the left or reductionism uh, that's breaking down and trying to understand those parts in the system, their properties and linear interactions. And then on the right, uh, system thinking, which is about stepping back, looking at the whole, trying to see the pattern of interrelationships between those parts um, and understanding those parts through those uh, that network of relations and how they form part of a broader system and are shaped and um, organized and defined by, by that broader context. And of course, ultimately, systems thinking is ask, um, looking for a balance between the two. We need both. We need to understand the parts and then we need to understand uh, how they're interrelated into the whole. Um, so it's we're saying it's a more holistic way of look at the world, um, and it and it is because we're often uh, thinking is characterized by a more analytical view, uh, but ultimately we need to balance between the two, and that's what systems thinking uh, is really arguing for. Uh, 